Hello guys, I'm so pumped today because today we will show you something really cool, really amazing. Um, we received actually ASUS B250 Mining Expert motherboard. Uh, you can see some pictures here. It has 19 PCIe slots. Uh, we were really unsure if we will be able even to run 19 graphic cards. So I will just um, show you what we did and uh, how we approach the situation. So uh, first of all, in the beginning, we were really not re sure how to plug the power supplies. Um, so we powered like all three these uh, big lines. But in the end, um, we just ended uh, in um, uh, powering like just uh, this one with uh, one power supply. I will also show you later on videos what is our, let's say, um, configuration in the end. Uh, right now I will just show you how we started. So we started in Windows 10 and uh, we decided we will, like even if everywhere is written, um, that it's simply not possible to connect uh, so many cards in Windows. We decided we will like, just try it ourselves. Uh, we start with um, a lower number of cards and then we work our way like up. Uh, what, what is actually quite important, there is like real limit like certain cards um, uh, with um, uh, some uh, output uh, which are like GTX uh, uh, 1060s. But if you combine it with um, ASUS mining cards, you are able to actually put uh, more to work. Uh, in the end, we were able to, to connect all 19 cards in, in, in Windows. Um, uh, the last one, the 19th, well, had some issues. But the problem was that we were unable to start mining. We, we just sh uh, saw all these, let's say, I, uh, 18 cards with uh, no issues in Windows uh, Device Manager. but. Um, uh, it took us hours uh, to even install it because we needed to install it one by one and the system always crashed which was probably also caused because we had too little RAM so uh, then we upgraded to 16 gigabytes even if uh, it's recommended to have uh, more uh, but we like, said okay let's try it with the cheapest uh, configuration possible and uh, with 16 giga RAM it, it went much faster and much smoother so then what happened uh, we uh, decided that Windows uh, is not let's say the way how to make it work fastly even if we think uh, it would be possible somehow to uh, to achieve that uh, and we moved to this uh, amazing uh, Ubuntu system, which uh, we just copied to with like manual is here. Uh, I will also attach the, the link uh, later on uh, under the video. Uh, and we just took this system. It took us a little bit while because uh, we are not like Linux or Ubuntu experts, but in the end it was not that hard. Um, uh, and we put it to work as you can see here on that image you can see all 19 cards um, available or 19 cards uh, running and mining of course they are right now not overclocked a little bit so they are mining a little bit less so we expect with our configuration which is 13 uh, asus trix uh, 1060 6 giga and six uh, asus mining cards um, uh, we think it will be 435 mega hashes per second on Ethereum. And it was looking quite, quite stable with not real issues uh, in the system. Hello, hello! So what we have here? We will take a look on our brand new Asus motherboard. I'll try to take it out carefully. Oh my god, it's so amazing. 19 slots, we will just pack out like few graphic cards that we have here in store. 
and uh, we will put this beauty to work and we will update you next step we will just put it into our place and we will connect all the cards and we will see how it performs so in search of incredible uh, so as you as you already know we are like testing this insane motherboard or incredible I would say a motherboard that can take like 19 graphic cards as you can see we have here 19 graphic cards it's all from Asus and uh, we have here Asus mining cards and Asus uh, 1060 6 giga and um, we are using Strix because they are really cool so I will just update you when we will start mining so let's let's say something on the end of this video because um, it was quite exciting times to, to, to test the motherboard. We are buying uh, probably more of these because it's um, simply it's just cheaper to, to make um, this system work. You know, it's it's uh, you save money on CPU. Uh, you you probably even save money on PCUs and uh, you have just one system that uh, can mine in the end it's just uh, cheaper than to have uh, two motherboards or in this case probably even three motherboards uh, so um, I, I think um, if if the cost of, of the motherboard will, will be right and I think uh, from what I heard that uh, the price should be okay then um, there is no sense of building small rigs if you can uh, basically for cheaper price to build um, uh, 19 uh, uh, cards uh, rig. Uh, so I will just uh, finish with uh, some some words of our configuration. We had uh, one big power supply with 2,400 watts uh, to power all the all the cards and we had actually two power supply units uh, to power all the razors and one was uh, powering also the motherboard we do believe and we will calculate it more properly um, with um, some data when it will run but we think it's possible to have one power supply to power the motherboard and all the razors um, and um, one big power supply to power all the cards so in the end, you will end uh, with uh, two power supply units. Um, I think if you have a uh, thousand watts on the secondary um, power supply unit, it should be okay, but we will get to you with some uh, data uh, afterwards because right now our configuration is running with two, two, uh, two power supply units, 750 watts uh, that are powering all the razors and one of them is powering also the motherboard that's basically it i think it was a uh, really a nice journey to 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 finish this i will of course um, uh, put um, all the important links uh, what to do and um, uh, you will be able to probably really soon to test it yourself and then see for yourself that it's uh, actually not that hard to to get it running if you if you know how to do that uh, you just go straight uh, for Linux because you don't need to waste any time with uh, Windows and in few hours you are basically set and you can go with no, let's say, big uh, work around. Also, one in interesting thing is that uh, with Linux uh, and with the Ubuntu that uh, we are using, you actually don't need even hard disk, uh, so you can just work with uh, USB key. Uh, which also um, makes um, uh, the cost of the rig uh, a little bit cheaper, I would say. And it's uh, also much easier to, to, to manage the system because you are not overlooking any like Windows updates and stuff like that. So I'm quite exciting and um, I will get to you later on with, uh, with some uh, data if we manage to, to, for example, overclock the cards a little bit more. But I think it would be completely possible. So thank you guys and if you like the video of course um, um, click uh, that you like it and uh, you can also go to our, our website and uh, blog and uh, uh, for example Facebook page um, to, to put uh, some likes and, and uh, we can also talk about um, 
uh, the uh, motherboard. Thank you, guys.